Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today we are going over some more Town of Salem rule ideas that I have. Um, sorry, it's been so long since the last video. It's I've just been really busy. So let's start with worst to best as always, although the top two are kind of tied. I don't know which one's better, but let's start with this one, the deputy. All right, so this role cannot exist without at least one sheriff in the game. It's a town killing role. I don't even, I don't, I feel like now that it's, I posted it a while ago, like I kind of don't like it a lot. It's basically a restricted Vigi. But anyways, um, yeah, has attack of basic, defense none. Their, their abilities, know if a sheriff found someone suspicious that night. You may choose to shoot someone the sheriff found suspicious each night. So how this works is um, each night, um like you'll get a message saying like a sheriff has found player name as suspicious or you know share a, a sheriff has found player name suspicious of course if that person doesn't get lynched you can shoot them if you want however of course you know they could still be a good guy that got framed or hexed but yeah um attributes uh you get three bullets if you shoot a town member you forfeit all your bullets if all sheriffs are dead, you will be promoted to sheriff. So, yeah, you don't kill yourself if you shoot a good guy because of a frame, a hex. Um, and yeah. So, mechanics. During the night, you will receive a message. If any sheriff has found someone suspicious, the message will say, A sheriff found player name suspicious. If multiple sheriffs find people suspicious, you will get the results of all sheriff that found someone suspicious. You won't know if a sheriff found someone innocent. I added that because... So that way, like, if someone's fake claiming sheriff, like, it makes it, it doesn't make it as hard to fake claim sheriff, because it'd be OP if you'd get all their results, because you'd know if a sheriff is fake, because you didn't get the message that they found him innocent. So, yeah, it's just so that way it's not as overpowered. Uh, once someone is found suspicious, you can choose to shoot them at any time. If you shoot a town, town member because of them being frame, hexed, or they were transported with the one you were going to shoot, then you will lose the ability to shoot anyone. Um, if there are multiple deputies in the game, when all sheriffs are dead, whoever has the less bullet, the least amount of bullets, will turn into a sheriff while the other stay, stays a deputy. If they both have the same amount of bullets, it will be randomly chosen for who will be next sheriff. So yeah. And also, if you get witched into someone else, you will shoot them, even if they weren't found suspicious. Yeah, so yeah, it's basically just restricted vigilante, honestly, but... Yeah, I don't really like it as much... Um, obviously you cannot find evidence of front doing your target seems innocent. The investigative results will be sheriff, deputy, executioner, werewolf, or poisoner. Um, the consigliere, CL, or witch. Your target works with the sheriff. They must be a deputy. Um, yeah, I feel like it's basically just restricted Vigi, honestly. I don't know if I like it that much. Um, all right, you kind of saw a sneak peek of the next one, but this one is called, now this one and the next one are like, I both feel like they're both really good. This one's called The Thief. It's a Mafia support. I really like the idea of this one. I feel like this would be a great role to add to the game. Um, so the goal, kill anyone that will not submit to the Mafia, same as all the other Mafia. Um, the abilities, choose a person's house to steal something from. The next night you can use that role's ability. Attributes, the person you stole from will not be able to use their ability the night after you stole from them. After the night, you can use the role's ability regardless if it's used. You will lose regardless... Oh my gosh. After the night, you can use the role's ability regardless if it's used. You will lose the item you stole and have to steal something again the next night. If there are no more kill-capable Mafia roles left, you'll become a Mafioso. Jeez. Alright, mechanics. Each night, you can choose someone to steal something from, or steal something from someone. You can then use the, that role's ability the next night. The victim will get a message saying someone robbed you. When you steal from someone, if that person had the ability to kill, then the next night when you use their ability to kill, it will say the death message for that role you stole from. As an example, if you stole a vigilante's gun and shoot someone, the death message will say they were shot by a vigilante. Or if you steal a veteran's gun and go on alert with it and kill someone, it'll say, that it'll say they were killed by a veteran. Uh, when you take a vigilante's or veteran's gun, you will use one of their bullets or alerts. The vigilantes will not die to guilt if you shoot a town member with their gun. And if you steal a survivor's vest, you will use one of their vests. If you die the same night you steal something, then you won't steal anything from their house. 
or if you're lynched the day after you stole something, then the person you stole from will get back whatever you stole from and can use their ability the next night instead of not being able to. After the night, you can use the roll's ability. Regardless if you used it, you will have to steal something again the next night. So, what that means basically is, like, if you steal something one night, on night one, you steal something. Night two, if you don't use it, you will still lose the ability to, to use it. And night three, you'd have to steal something else or the same thing back. Um, there are some rolls that you cannot steal from. Rolls that cannot be stolen from will get a message saying someone tried to rob you last night. You cannot steal from Mafia unless they are transported or you were witched into them. If you try to steal from a serial killer, they will attack you. Similar to because stealing um, serial killer's knife, that is like roll blocking them. And you cannot roll block a serial killer or else they will attack you. Alright. Messages for each roll that you steal from. So these are all the messages. Uh, so investigator or, con or a consig it'll say you stole a magnifying glass from target's house lookout you stole a spy glass sheriff you stole a badge spy you stole a device i didn't really know what else to come up with but i just went with a device since you bug someone's house with like a device um bodyguard or survivor with vest you stole a bu bulletproof vest from your target's house now if you steal from a bodyguard you obviously guard someone you can go and guard someone the vest is because you know they wear a vest so Survivor with vest, you know, you get put on a vest yourself. Crusader, you stole a sword from your target's house. Doctor, you stole a med kit from your target's house. Trapper, without a trap placed. You stole a trap from your target's house. Vampire hunter, you stole a stake from your target's house. Veteran with alerts. Vigi with, alert, with bullets. Mafioso or ambusher, you stole a gun from your target's house. Vet or vig with no bullets. You found a gun, but there were no bullets in it, so you left it. Escort or consort, you stole makeup from your target's house. Medium, you stole a crystal ball from your target's house. So with that one, I mean, so you'd basically steal the ball, the crystal ball. The medium cannot talk to dead people the next night, but you can and you will appear as a medium to the dead people. Forger, you, can, you stole a quill and ink from your target's house. Framer, you stole fake documents. Hypnotist, you stole a pendulum. Janitor, you stole a mop. Blackmailer, you stole secret envelopes. Arsonist, you stole gasoline. Serial killer, you tried to steal a knife from your target's house, but the serial killer attacked you. Poisoner, you stole a poison dart from your target's house. And poisoner is the only coven roll that you can steal from. Potion, well, yeah, coven member. Pirate or potion master, there were too many things to steal because they got... The pirate has the pistol, the scimitar, and the um, rapier. Well, Potion Master has a heal, attack, and investigate a potion. That's too many things, so it'll say that. Uh, psychic, Tracker, Trapper with a trap already placed. Jailer, Mayor, Retri, Trans, Disguiser, Amnesiac, GA, Serve with no vests. X, Jest, Witch, Jug, Werewolf, PB, Pest, Vamp, CL, Medusa, HM, Necro. You could not find anything to steal from your target's house. And Sheriff, your target is suspicious. Investigative results will be Escort, Transporter, Contort, Hypnotist, or Thief. Since they basically roll-block people, I feel like this would just be the best one for be, being the same results as an Escort or Consort. Um, Consig, CL, Witch. Your target steals things from other people. They must be a Thief. And yeah, that's the Thief. I feel like it's a pretty good, good idea, honestly. Why did it kick me out of my... Anyways... And then last but not least is the Phantom. I, li I really like this idea. It basically gives uh, neutrals that have lost a second chance to win, which is really cool. So this is a unique roll. Uh, this roll cannot be rolled. It can only appear if a neutral dies. And then Mafia, Town, Coven, Guardian Angels, Jesters who were lynched, Executioners who got their target lynched, Serial Killers with other alive Serial Killers, Arsonists with other alive Arsonists, Pirates who already won, and vampires cannot become the phantom phantom now i feel like the reason i excluded vampires is because they're kind of like they're they're literally their own faction i mean you can have more than one member so it's kind of like the mafia and coven town thing although i guess i could have added vampires without other live or with other live vampires but anyways um this is a neutral chaos role so it adds another one of those goal is to sex Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Successfully haunt all living players. They have attack none, defense none, and their abilities is choose someone to haunt each night. So, when a survivor, amnesiac, jester who wasn't voted out, executioner who didn't get their target lynched, witch, 
serial killer with no other live serial killers, arsonist with no other live arsonists, werewolf, juggernaut, pirate who hasn't won, or plague bearer slash pestilence dies, they have a chance to turn into the phantom the night they die or the day they were lynched. Of course, the day they were lynched doesn't apply to the jester because they'd won. So this is only neutrals that cannot win anymore or who haven't already won. Uh, where was I? Yeah, okay. A message will appear to all players, just like the plague bear turning into pest message. A little bit like that. It says a phantom is now haunting the town. The phantom will choose someone to haunt each night. Each player will be given one cross to ward off the phantom if they go to haunt their houses the night they use it. However, they can only use it once to ward off the phantom. After that, they don't have it anymore. You will still be able to use your knight ability while using the cross. If you are Roblox or witched, you will not use the cross. If the phantom is warded off by someone using their cross, the town will get a message saying the phantom has been warded off. The player that wards off the phantom will get a message saying the phantom tried to haunt you, but you warded them off with your cross. The phantom is warded off. If the phantom is warded off, they will no longer be able to haunt anyone and will lose. If the phantom successfully haunted every li living person's house, the game will end with the phantom winning along with any other neutrals that have completed their win conditions like survivors, jesters, executioners, guardian angels, witches, pirates. Um, and also I was thinking maybe like if, because like once everybody gets haunted, the game insta ends right there. Even if there's more than one faction alive, like it just insta ends if everyone alive has been haunted before. So yeah, I'm thinking like if like a town like kills like the fight like there's the final evil dies the same night the phantom wins i feel like the town should win with the phantom because they completed their win condition as well same with mafia if there's only mafia alive and maybe like survivor or something the mafia win with the phantom if they do it the same night the phantom wins um if the game ends before the phantom haunts everyone obviously they lose but yeah i'm thinking that maybe that could be something um Oh, and then this comment, what is stopping everyone from using the cross from the, the day the fandom appears? I was actually thinking about that when I made this. And honestly, I mean, it's it's it seems like a really good strategy. Everyone can just say could just use their cross the night they see that there's a phantom. However, that is also risky because the phantom can just simply choose not to haunt anyone the night they turn into the phantom. So, I mean, that's an easy counter. So, anyways, uh oh my gosh. Why does that keep happening? Boom. No, boom. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the third part of these role ideas. I don't know how I come up with these. I just... But... And I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm probably going to upload a few others. And It's late at night, as you can see, 10, 15. But I'm thinking of playing some other games um, and uploading them tonight. So there might be more videos after this. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.